Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. second grade welcome back again sharing another great book with you this is a story called Wimberly Worried by Kevin is it Hinnix? Hanks and this is such a great book and I used to read it all the time to my second graders in the beginning of the school because guess what Wimberly always did she was always worried she worried about everything until she went to school and then she realized school was a fun place to be and she didn't have time to worry. So if you are always worrying, read this book to see what Wembley does so that she's not worried about every little thing. Check it out to see if you can find this story on Sora or in your, or in your county library. It's a great book. So boys and girls, I'm so glad you guys are back with me. My name is Mrs. Vang, and I'm excited so that we can learn our letters and our sounds so that we can become amazing readers and writers. Good job. So are you ready? Let's make our brain stronger. Awesome. We'll start with our high frequency words. Remember, high frequency words are words that we see most frequently when we are reading and when we're writing. So it's important to know how to read them and write them without trying to sound them out. That way we can use all that brain power for those longer words. Ready? We have two more words that we're going to be practicing today. So as we practice, I want you to help me read and spell. So if you have a pencil or a whiteboard or a whiteboard marker nearby, take it out and help me read and write these high these two high frequency words. Ready? My first word is off. Help me read it. Off. Good job. Help me spell it. O F F off. Good job boys and girls. Now help me read my second word. My second word is picture. Help me read it. Picture. Help me spell it. P I C T U R E picture. And again, Another favorite word that second graders like to write, picture. So make sure you can read it and spell it. Now, I have two sentences for you. Help me try to figure out which one of these words will go into my sentence so that it will make sense. Ready? Don't forget to use your context clues to help you. Help me read the first sentence. Ready? My first sentence says, Did you see this mm of my dog? And it's a question, so it's asking me a question. Let's see, in the second sentence says, help me read it. The pin fell mm the desk. So if I was reading this sentence, I think, did you see this picture of my dog makes sense? And did you see this picture of my dog? Have you? Oh, I was just kidding, I don't have a dog. Now let's see if off makes sense in the second sentence. Ready? The pin fell off the desk. Yes, that does make sense. So good job practicing our words this week. Let's practice reading all of our words that we've learned um, this week and words that we're going to be learning. Help me read them. We'll start with the word that we learned, the words that we learned today. Ready? Picture, off, cold, because friends, family, have, know, took, and school. Good job, boys and girls. A good study tip for your high frequency word is to time yourself. Time yourself for like 30 seconds and try to read as many words as you can. And then time yourself again and try to beat your record. And if that gets too easy, then time yourself for one minute and try to read how, and try to read as many words as you can. And then challenge yourself and see if you can spell them without looking. That, or, or the, that's, that's a tip that you can use to practice your high frequency words. So now that we've practiced our high frequency words, let's go and train our ears. 
You know what that means. Turn your listening ears up. Okay, we're going to play a game called Change It Up. So this is where I'm going to say some sounds. We're going to blend it, and then I'm going to change the beginning sound, and then we'll blend and see if you can guess my new word. Are you ready? Awesome. Let's get started. If I said this, uh, uh, these sounds, k, o, t, what's my word? K, o, t, coat. Good job. If I change the k to a n, what's my new word? N, o, t, note. Like you can write a note. Good job, boys and girls. Okay. Now, what if I had these sounds? Ready? Own, own. What's my word? Phone. Good. Now, what if I change the to a k? What's my new word? K own, cone. Good job. Like I like to eat ice cream and an ice cream cone. Good job. Okay. Last set of word. Ready? What's my word? Sock. Sock. What is it? Sock. Good job. Now, what if I change the s to a n? N. Ock. Knock. Good job, boys and girls. Good job training your ears. So, did you notice all of those sounds had the O and A、ah、sound? And that goes perfectly with our. Sound this week. Remember, we are reviewing the short o sound that says ah, and we're learning the long o sound. Long o says o, but we're focused on the vowel consonant silent e pattern. And we know the silent e or the bossy e. Its job is to make the o say its name. It's going to say its long vowel sound. So, short o says ah, long o says o. Now I have said some letters here. Help me blend them. Ready? This says op, hop. Good. What vowel sound? Ah,、uh, short o sound. Good. What if I put the silent e? Now don't forget to change your vowel sound. The o is gonna say o.、Oh, you're right. Help me blend it with the o sound. Huh? Ope, hope. Good job, boys and girls. But guess what? We're also going to learn spelling pattern. So if you can spell hope, guess what? You can spell rope. So what sound did you hear? R. Good. Just like in our game this earlier, change the h to a r and it becomes rope. Good job. What if I change the r to a k? What's my new word? Cope. Good job, boys and girls. And what if I change it to a Mmm. Now it becomes m, ope, mope. Good. And what if I add a blend? Let's see if you guys can sound this word out. Ready? I'm gonna move it so I have more room. Sl, ope, slope. Good job, boys and girls. Now I have a story for us to read. And as we're reading, I want you to see if you can find all my long o sound. Remember, long o says o. Ready? This is a story called "A Trip from Home." And boys and girls, as we're reading, I want you to also work on your fluency. And today we're going to be working on your rate. So that just means not reading too fast, like Jam was on a trip from home. That's too fast, and we don't want to read too slow. Jam was on. Right, that's too slow. So you want to read at an appropriate rate,、um, just like how if you were talking. But remember to pay attention to your punctuation as you're reading. So, are you ready? Awesome. Let's get started. A trip from home. Jan was on a trip from home. He rode on a plane. He rode a bike on a big lake. He wore a mitt to play ball. He had a rope on a kite. I like trips," says Jan. "A trip is not a bore." So 
Did you find all those short, I mean, those long O words? There was a lot of them, remember? Long O says O. Like, you're right, in our title, we have the word home that has the O. And up here's home again. Road. Can you find some more? There are some more in here. War. Rope. Good job, boys and girls. And it was an A. Four. All my long O spelled with a consonant, silent, uh, I mean, vowel, consonant, silent, E. Awesome job, boys and girls. So tonight, I want you to write about other things Jan might do when he's on his trip. He did a lot of things. Oh, and guess what? As I was reading, I noticed that I, there wasn't a period. So make sure, boys and girls, always end your sentence with periods. Good job. So now that we practice our long O sound, let's go and practice our inflectional endings. So all week, we have been learning that inflectional endings are added to the end to change the meaning of a word. We learned that adding ed makes it mean that it's happening in the past. And if we add ing, it's happening right now. But this week, we will focus on two rules. The first rule was, if there is a silent e at the end, then we need to drop the e before we add ed. Trade becomes traded. Notice how there's no e there. Trade becomes trading. Right? We drop the E before we add the ED or the ING. Now, the other rule is if there's a short vowel before the end consonant, we need to double it. That means I need to add another consonant, the last consonant, before I add the ED or the ING. Nap, napped, and nap becomes napping. So let's practice. And I'm going to use a word that we built earlier. Now, this is what a word that a lot of my boys, um, friends in second grade always had trouble with. So, if I said this word, hope, if I wanted to add the ed, it becomes hoped, right? If I wanted to add the ing to make it mean it's happening right now, it becomes ho. Bing. Now, what if I just had the word op? Guess what? This has the a ah sound. So what do I do before I add the ed? What's that rule? Remember, I need to add the another consonant, hopped and hopping. So remember, boys and girls, as you're reading, hoping. Hopping, one P, two P. This is tricky, boys and girls. It's not that hard if we just practice. Remember, you can do hard things. And if something is too hard, we just say, I can do it. Because you can, boys and girls. I'm so proud of you guys. Make sure you come back and join me here tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone.